All right, Coach Miller, uh, I, I, you know, I've never met you. Yeah. I hear uh, legends about you, you know, feats of strength. <laughs> 63 years old, and 63. you're in incredible shape. They said you could do 60 pull-ups. A couple years ago, I did 60. I don't know if they they weren't perfect, but they were, they were, uh, I got it done. I got, got through. I was 60, when I turned 60, I tried to do 60. 60 for 60. Yeah. Uh, Tadaki Hata does, uh, still, he does as many push-ups for his age, and he's like 73. You guys, you guys amaze me. You guys are genetic freaks. Well, you know what? I think it's just a matter of staying in shape and not getting out. It's so hard once you get out, you know, when people come back and say, geez, I wish I'd get back in shape. If you just never get out, you know, and that's some good advice for some young people when they're done competing and totally and they start their career, just don't stop working out. I mean, you don't have to be crazy, but just, you know, keep your fitness and uh, life, is, life is good. So you don't walk up a flight of steps and die. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that will do it to some people. Yeah, yeah, so... Looking at the legacy here, I mean, 10 national titles for you, 12 total for the program. Um, I just saw your son, who I don't know how it's your son, he's six foot three or five, six maybe, <laughs> but you know, he's one of your national champs. Um, you've built a special thing here, no question about it. Well, I'm very it. proud of what's going on here for sure, you know, and, and the, now it's just continuing. These guys are doing a great job, but I think the whole family, you know, we build a family, not just a wrestling program. And, and it's, been, it's been awesome to watch. It's been awesome to be a part of. You know, because when you get here and you haven't won a conference title in 14 years, and then, we, you know, and then now it's 24 in a row, uh, and then you know, the momentum built nationally, we started thinking, hey, you know, why can't we win a national championship here? And now it's kind of like, geez, we're going to be disappointed if we don't win a national championship, you know? So, and, and it's also improved our, you know, it's helped build the whole athletic program and, and people thinking bigger. And it's been good. It's been good. I'm very proud of what's happened, yeah. You're from Waterloo. Uh, Coach Gable's from Waterloo. Yeah. I mean, you guys, it, the, the, the wrestling history and tradition around here is incredible. You and I is right up the road, right. down the road. And I just look at it, it. This is the hotbed of wrestling for college wrestling at all levels. There's no question about it. Um, being able to build such a special thing and put the infrastructure in place for, it's about rebuilding for them, or I'm sorry, reloading for them now. It's not even a rebuilding. Thing. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I think I think most people feel like you know the one of the best uh, small college programs. I'm married, you know, we've won the last I think five out of six national championships in D3. You know now Nick Mitchell, one of our guys here, has won the last five NAIA championships at Grandview. Uh, you know you got Iowa, Iowa State, you Northern Iowa. All three of them have won national championships, and so people love wrestling here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, all these coaches that have been, most of the coaches here, we've had a couple D1s, but mostly it's NAI, D2, D3 guys. I feel personally that the future of college wrestling, if you look at Division I, they've dropped, you know, 10 programs in the last 15 years, 10 years. They're dwindling. You guys are growing. D3's growing. They're always adding. D2's growing. They're always adding. NAI is growing, always adding, and then people transitioning to D2, D3 from NAI is the future of college wrestling at the... D2, D3, and well, AI. I hope D1 starts to grow because I re we need that. But if you look at the what's gone on lately, I think we've had seven D3 programs just last year. And so, yes, it's growing. It's growing big time, and, and especially at, at institutions that are enrollment-driven. But, but uh, and, and that's cool because there's opportunity for everybody, and our women are growing. And so a lot of good things happening, and, and hopefully we'll have more things happen like Fresno State starting at the D1 level, but uh, we'll see. Your legacy here, you know, you, you go out a winner, right? Yeah, Your final year, you, you guys won the team we title. Did. Did. What's that like to go out as a winner? And, and mm -hmm. was that the sign like, uh, you know, I, 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 I did 60 pullets at 60. I'm still <laughs> in pretty good shape. We won the national title. What was your thinking behind leaving then and, as opposed to five years? Some guys, well, some guys stay around a pretty long time. I actually thought I, I actually started thinking about it when TJ won his, or left in 2008. So I stayed on about five more years. And uh, each year, you know, you keep thinking about it, but I wanted to make sure it was right. It's never, it's never, it's never easy to leave. You always got kids you want to stay for. That's the tough part. But uh, it, it, for me, it was good. I, I needed to. I needed to take a. I needed to take a breath, and I'm, uh, it was cool to see. We did. We not only won the last one. I uh, my last year. We won the last three years that I was here. So that was a good way to go out. And I didn't go out because of that. But uh, it, my wife would say it'd been hell to pay 
the rest of our lives if we hadn't won that last one. You know, because you're always, you know, if you don't win, you're, it's, it's hurting. So that was a good, good thing that we did. I look at, uh, you know, now life for you. I mean, when you go from this like intense, competitive environment to now you're more of an administrative role here at Warburg, but you're still working. Right. You're not retired, really. Right. Right. It's like fake retirement. You're still working. <laughs> But what's that like? What's your role now here? No, I mean, the anxiety level is definitely way better for me. You know, I don't take stuff home, you know, because I always took everything was home. I was, you know, I was home, but I wasn't home. You know what I mean? A lot of times when you're coaching, you know, either you're recruiting, you're thinking about the, the next wheels match. are spinning. Oh, always, always never shuts off. And so that part's good for me. And, you know, I'm still full time. I need to be I need to be working. I need to be where I'm, I'm going to continue to work for who knows when, but I need to work. So, and I need to be competitive, so that's why I'm, I like working out, I like doing that thing, and, and uh, like doing other things, helping programs, coaching coaches, that kind of thing. How do you feel about the state of the program that you left it, and the state you left it, and the, the coaches who've taken over, guys that were underneath you? For sure. Do you feel good about that? Yeah, I mean, that, that's what made it easier to get out, because uh, me and Coach Keller have been together 12 years, and, and Coach Ortner was an athlete for me, then he came back at about 2005. And so it was a pretty seamless transition, man, as good as you can get it. So, yeah, I felt good about it, and I feel good about it right now. You know, we're still rolling, and we're going to continue to do that. Can you still do all, you know, like your activity level has probably gone down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'd hate to say that, but, you know, you, you've gotten older, you've retired from wrestling. Uh, do you feel it yet sometimes to get back in here and just pop in on a daily basis? Yeah, I like walking in. I just like get the feel when I walk in. Sometimes I just want to walk in to feel it, you know. I don't need to get on the mat to wrestle somebody. I'm not, I haven't done that in a number of years, but I just want to feel it. And a lot of times I'll come down just to be able to talk to the athletes and, and, and the team. So that's been fun for me to, you know, not, not, not something you got to do, but I really, you know how much you miss it when you really want to just walk in. There's something you want people to know throughout the country about, you know, the legacy you build here and, and Wartburg, what would it be? I think just the whole thing that, uh, you know, it's more about wrestling than just building men. You know, you're trying to build men. You're trying to, trying to build a good community. You're trying to build a good family. You know, and the good thing about here is we still got parents involved that their sons have been gone for years. We still got alums that are more and more alums every year come back. And so I think that's the that's most satisfaction thing for me.